So now I'm going to talk about the biggest douchebags in Magic the Gathering. And it's people who take advantage of new or players using false marketing as, and before people say, oh, it's MTG Lion doing this, it is absolutely not MTG Lion as my cat is staring me down on Halloween now. Um, <laughs> no, that is not me. You can, that's definitely not me. And I would never do that because I actually give fat packs away. Um, when I mean give them away, I trade them for $40 because that's, that's good value for me. And I get a card worth $40 that I wouldn't, that I kind of want. But a reseller will go ahead and sell it for $80. And what's really interesting about this one, again, I'll have the image here or here. I'm going to test out like which is better. And he says, oh, you can buy this at eBay for 60 or 70, but I'm selling it for $80. And he only has like three of them. Like when people talk about like resellers, I don't think that they're talking about people who buy in bulk or stores or anything like that, because that doesn't, that model that he's running right now doesn't make any sense. No one's going to pay you $80 for something they can that's something that you have told them in that post they can go on eBay and get for $60. Now he does offer the fact that he can meet you anywhere, but all of eBay is pretty much free shipping on fat packs anyway. Um, Dave and Adams has dropped five packs from $70 to $65, which is still not great, but it's not $80. So I do get the sentiment that people were very upset. And I didn't really understand it, understand, uh, I didn't really understand why people were upset until I saw this Craigslist post. And it was very upsetting because you, here you have a dude who probably went to Walmart, purchased the Walmart out, and has no interest in Magic the Gathering. The, the problem here is if you have an interest in Magic the Gathering, you want to open these fat packs because they're just fun to open. Actually, I am giving away a fat pack and I'm going to tell you right up, straight up, we pulled a Gideon from that giveaway. I'm giving away Gideon and 89 for lands and some other stuff, which I'm not going to tell you because I want you guys to watch the video and then, you know, but anyway, I love it. I love opening it. I enjoy playing. Um, <laughs> I, I saw on Facebook someone teared, uh, tore up a foil Tomogorp. No joke. I'll have the picture here if I can find it again. I just want to cry. Like, I just wanted to cry for that person because it's a casual player, too. I was like, wow. But anyway, I do Pack Wars. I do play that. Uh, my friend Steven enjoys doing that for whatever reason. And he always pays for it, so I don't care. I'm like, oh, well, I'm not going to pay for it. <laughs> I'll play the game with you, but I'm not playing. I'm not going to pay for it. Um, anyway, I don't know. It just seems like a super douchebag move. Uh, and the problem I have is when people don't play magic and they just want to make money from magic products, they A, have no idea what they're doing. No one's going to pay you $80 or something that they can get for $60 free shipping. All right, Dave and I, from retail, 65 free shipping and free stuff. I believe right now there's a double Halloween coupon. I got to buy something from Dave and Adams now because I want to get the, um, the tins. Um, so I do collect baseball cards and sports cards. I as well and they have anime cards too and comics uh, so I got to figure out how to order enough money to get free shipping and then but that's like oh man I'm sidetracking this way off anyway biggest douchebags are people who do not play magic who don't play who do not play there are people who buy magic products with the only desire is to sell them because they themselves do not play magic the gathering and this is exactly what I'm getting from this post is this person just went, heard about it, went to Target, uh, purchased it and put it for $80. It happens with sports cards a lot too. When someone, and comic books and anime figures, when someone buys an anime figure for $20, puts it up for $80 and it's eBaying for like $40 shipped to your door. What are you doing? Like, it's, it's clear that this person <laughs> really doesn't understand what's going on with fat packs and the price is dropping drastically and it's clear that this person does and then you can look at the time state and everything like that um i don't know it's it's kind of upsetting when people who don't play magic buy magic products only to sell at a higher price to other magic players that i get i, fi I finally figured out 
why people were upset about the fat packs and why like but I, I trade them to Magic players, I give them away on this channel, I open them for the Patreons. If the Patreons want to open this, we're opening it. I mean, if they want to do Battle for Zenicar Fat Packs and they want to get a land, they get the land. Like, I don't care. Like, shipping is a pain and I have to pay more money for it, but hey, it's, you know, they... That's the uh, prize that they won, or they got, right? Anyway, um, that's it uh, for this week. And then next, well, I guess I kind of, I guess on Saturday you're going to see a Gideon pulled on this channel, and preferably given away sometime soon. Uh, so yeah, and that does it for this week. Bye, guys.